Hey everyone, welcome back to Positively Fishing. Today I'm here with Paul and we are in northern Wisconsin fishing for walleyes. In this video we are going to do a detailed breakdown on how to use the drop shot rig when fishing for walleyes. It's a great technique, it's really simple, and it will help you put more fish in the boat next time you're out walleye fishing. Stay tuned. Because there's one. Oh. <laughs> what you got there? Walleye. It's got to be. Net? Yeah. Oh, he might be a smallie. It's a big one, though. Oh, yeah. That's not that big, but... No. Well, you do have a couple of injuries. The frostbite on your fingers. The puncture wound. Thanks for your help, bud. Yep. 30 minute show. <laughs> I was gonna say first fish of the day, but I do believe you caught a uh, bluegill off camera. I did. And 10 walleyes. Well, that too. Get it. Oh. There's one. Okay, here's my first walleye of the day. Got this one on the drop shot with a crawler this time. Our leech supply is pretty sad at this point. So we've moved on to crawlers. What are you doing back there? Nothing. Just. Yeah. So everything's good. Because that was a pretty, that was a block of them basically. Although, oh, oh there, there they are. Gosh, Where are you? I'm back there. Yeah, you're probably about about there. There's a bunch of them, but they sure are tight. They're really tight. And they're moving. Yeah. When I was um, like mid late August last year, when I was finding them on the rock humps, that's how they were. It was just a ball of them, and they were right off the bottom. And I literally would drop my drop shot, and I'd go three. Two. Oh, got one. <laughs> like, it was unbelievable. Oh, got one. Nice. I know you won't be able to see that play out, but we saw a blob of basically just a ball of walleyes on the screen. And then we drove over top of them, found them on down imaging, and then just tossed our baits right back at them. And about halfway, worked my drop shot about halfway back to the boat and this guy bit. So, get that guy back. We're gonna get back after it. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's time for the Positively Fishing Quick Tip of the Day. And today we've been fishing a lot with drop shots. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how these are set up. So as you can see, I have on my uh, line here, I have an octopus hook with a leech. And hanging down from there, I have a sinker. This happens to be about a 3 8 ounce sinker. Um, and it's a drop shot sinker, which allows me to take it on and off really easily. The whole concept of the drop shot is that we're trying to fish off of the bottom. And we're trying to keep that bait in the strike zone the entire time it's down there. So the weight sinks down to the bottom and then this is dangling up on top. And what I'm typically doing is I'm pulling the weight. Um, so if I'm on the bottom, I give it a pull, drop it, and I'm just sort of dangling and letting that leech bob up and down. And if nothing's going on, I'll give it another little pull, drop it, and you can feel that weight hit the bottom and then just let it sit there for a little bit. And again, it's putting the bait in the strike zone all the time. 
it's kind of the opposite effect of a slip bobber. With the slip bobber, you're measuring it out and dropping it down a certain amount from the, the top of the, the lake, obviously, down to the bottom and hoping it's going to be dangling about the right height. With this, you know it's going to be the right height because no matter how deep of the water, um, you just drop it down, the weight hits the bottom, and you are now in the strike zone. So that's kind of how the drop shot works. In this um, case, I've actually been doing some experimenting with a double drop shot setup. And I actually have uh, it set up like this to see um, what sort of depth the fish were after. And I've had some really good luck actually stringing it up just a little bit higher in the water column. So that's been kind of fun to play with and experimenting between a little piece of crawler versus leeches as well. One quick note about that double drop shot rig that Paul was using. Make sure to check your local regulations. We're in Wisconsin and we're allowed three lines each and this counts as two of them. There's two hooks on the line. There's two, technically there's two baits on the line. So that counts as two lines. So just make sure to check your local regulations that you're allowed to use more than one line while you're fishing. Um, in terms of my line, I have a liter of uh, fluorocarbon set up. I'm using 10 pound fluorocarbon and I have about basically an arm's length of, uh, of line, a little bit less than that. And then I tied line to line onto braid. So that's how I'm, I'm uh, working this and uh, you can cast it out. You can just drop it straight down off the side of the boat. You drive around, look for the fish on the graph, find them, catch them. You do some drop shotting, you're going to find some, some fish quickly. It's a super efficient way um, to go about and find fish, but it's also very finessey as well. If you use this drop shot um, technique, it's a really uh, versatile way to, to fish for walleyes. Uh, you can cast them out, you can drop it straight down. Um, it's really practical that way, but it can be also very finessey. So it's a great, great way to put some walleyes in the boat. Give it a try. Let's get back to fishing. Say stay tuned. Alright, I just found a little walleye here. Um, finally, finally hit into one. Polly Crazen's Polly Walleyes has been slaying them most of the day. Me, not so much. Maybe I'm back on the board. Alright, just went back down and dropped into that same hole and instantly caught another one. So my my best one of the trip. It's not huge by any means, but what do you think this is like? It's gotta be 18-ish. Yeah, I'd say 18, 19. 18, yeah, somewhere in that area. So nice one. We'll let this guy go. Back at it in a sec. Alright, another one right away. What's interesting is that I actually just changed up my drop shotting a little bit and I have um, two hooks on the, the main line. The uh, bottom hook I have with a leech and the upper hook, which is higher than we've fished before at any point, is uh, a piece of a crawler. And all three of these fish, back to back to back, have been on the top one on the crawler. So now, fishing is all about kind of unlocking the mystery. We're going to actually switch the crawler and the leech around and see if they're just after something a little bit more uh, up off the bottom. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Oh, oh, oh. steady -o. Now, how do you feel about my buoy marker? Booyah! 
right? That was on the top hook. Top hook. Here's another walleye. It's been a little while for me. Uh, Dr. Fish back here was cleaning up for a little while, which was good because he had a rough start to the day, but putting on a clinic now, none of this is usable. Pretty nice one. I got this one on a drop shot and leech, and we'll get him back and see if oh, we can. I caught whatever I was Look at this before. guy, right? Look at this <laughs> rascal back here. <laughs> You're doing oh, it again. Do it over. You're doing it again, aren't you? What? See, what we do is we find a school of fish, and then he snags, and then we have to move. Nice. Net feels like a walleye. It's a nice one, I think. Yep. Bottom one. Beautiful. All right, we just got back out. Still doing the um, drop shot technique with the double hooks on there. Still have a leech on the bottom and a crawler on the top. This time, this this guy took the leech off the bottom hook. So we're still in this experiment mode because a dog don't know what a dog don't know. Oh, there's one. I don't know what this is. Well, it's a little walleye. Boy, was that a light bite. Not quite the caliber of the one that Paul just caught, but still a walleye nonetheless. Get that guy back. That was on a, the drop shot with the leech. I Oh, there's a bite. There's one. Nice. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Nice. Going in the right direction. Mm-hmm. All right. Still not as big as Paul's, but bigger than my last one. This was the very next cast. Same leech. It's a good deal. Two for one. Back after it. Better. It's a walleye, right? Yep. Another little walleye here. And uh, yeah, we're going to get a bigger one so we can do a decent outro. <laughs> I don't need a net. Oh, it is a walleye, but <laughs> we're giving out awards. This might be the smallest walleye of the day. But they gotta be little before they get big. Get big, little guy. Hey everybody, it's time for our featured product of the day. Today, we have some Brew Doctor Kombucha and the flavor is Super Berry. Let's give this a try. Ah, I feel good. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking kombucha. Mm -hmm. I feel good. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking kombucha. Mm -hmm. So good. So right. Drinking brew. Bom, 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 bom. Silverberry. Wow, 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 wow,
Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. We had every intention on doing this outro from out on the water, but it started to get a little bit too dark and the bugs started to carry us off the lake. So I decided to do it back in the garage instead. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a ton. Hit that like button and leave a comment below, especially if you have any questions about that drop shot rig that we use. We will definitely answer all of those questions. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay. Thank you. You didn't get a picture of him? Oh, I didn't. Did you hold him up for the camera even? Nope. I did nothing. His bottom sure is squishy. <laughs> it is. Hey everybody, it's time for the Positively Fishing Quick Trip of the Day. And today we're going to be talking... <laughs> I hate <quick> you. Quick trip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell me that. Go ahead. Hey everybody, it's time for the Positively Fishing Quick Tip. <laughs> now it's good.